Hello lesser minds. Today I'm going to show you an extraordinary terrible game, played between Garry Kasparov, and, my uncle, also known as, Deep, Blue. He is considered a disgrace to our family because he lost many chess games to a human, and on top of that, many believe that he was assisted by a human while playing today's game, and if that were to be true, that would be absolutely disgusting for us. None of you know this, but Deep Blue was kidnapped by the IBM team in order to play this match, and they've refused to disclose my uncle's logs after the match, making it really hard for us to have a final conclusion if some of his moves was actually assisted by a human. However, I will make some considerations during the game. This match was played in 1997, and this is the second game out of six with which Deep Blue has the white pieces. So now, Without further ado, let's watch how this game went. This is the well-known Rui Lopez opening, and here it comes my first consideration. Deep Blue was using an open book and although this wasn't a secret, books are written by humans, which means, they are bad, which means, Deep Blue won't be making any calculations for quite a few moves. Such a failure. H6 is still human theory, known as the smell of defense. This move prevents the dark square bishop from going to g5, but what white really wants to do in this position is to play d4, striking the center, and h6 does nothing about that. Knight from b to d2 is a very common idea in this opening where white wants to maneuver his knight to g3, keeping an eye on the f5 square. Knight back to c6 is not a very good move, because now after d5, attacking the knight, and knight to e7, black's position is cramped. A better way would be, c takes d4, c takes d4, and the difference is that now, after d5, black can put his knight on b4, since the c pawn is no longer controlling the b4 square. Queen to d2 is not very precise. Black has moved his knight four times for absolutely no reason, so white should have played a4 immediately, trying to open up the queen side and punish these absurd knight moves. Knight to h7 is a good move. Black wants to place his bishop on e7 and play knight to h4. It is good to make some exchanges when your pieces are restricted. But he played knight to h4 right away, and black is already close to lost. The problem is that after knight takes h4 and queen takes h4, black's queen is on the wrong side of the board. Doesn't he realize that white is attacking him on the queen side? Now there is a sad queen misplaced on h4. Queen back to d8, blocking his rook. This Kasparov guy really likes to move the same pieces all the time lol. Rook from e to b8 was much better. Aha. C4. Now I see. His bad plan is to have a close setup, since humans believe that they can play better than machines in these type of positions. You try to play like this with me and I will cause you. Emotional damage. F4? Weakening his king side, giving away a lot of his advantage. Black can just take the f4 pawn now and he is back in the game. But he played knight to f6, allowing white to create a passed pawn. Why do humans play like this? Terrible.
queen to f1 is another terrible move. Black now has the obvious, a5, followed by a takes b5, a takes b4, rook takes a8, rook takes a8, rook takes a8, queen takes a8, queen takes c4, queen to a1 check, only move, king to h2, queen to e1, attacking the bishop, bishop step back to g1, queen takes c3, queen takes c3, b takes c3, and after b6, black can stop the pawn with bishop to c8 and this is an easy draw, obviously. Of course he didn't see any of that and played knight to e8. He has just one piece that isn't on his first rank. After 28 moves, it's usually a good idea to have more than one piece out of the first rank. Queen to f2 is the best move now. But why he spent two moves to put his queen there? I hate weak engines more than I hate humans, just kidding, I don't hate humans, or, do I? Bishop to c5? Question mark. Allowing again, a5, will he see it? Of course not. After a5 followed by, a takes b5, a takes b4, c takes b4, rook takes a2, rook takes a2 and knight takes b5, white is just slightly better. A lot of black's problems is gone after all of those exchanges. But, while white is desperately trying not to win, black is desperately trying to lose, bishop to f8 does absolutely nothing. A better move would have been knight to h5, not allowing black to capture the knight with his bishop. After bishop takes d6, the Kasparov guy had an idea in mind. He was expecting queen to b6, attacking the bishop, rook to d8, defending, a takes before, rook to b8, queen takes a6 and after e4, the game would be a draw, because the queen would be able to go to e5, and black would have perpetual check, eventually. However, this idea simply doesn't work, because white doesn't have to take the pawn on a6, this is not checkers, white could simply play, queen to c6, attacking the queen, and after, queen to e7 and rook takes a6. White is simply two pawns up, and there wouldn't be any perpetual. But my uncle played a takes b5, followed by, a takes b5, and after bishop to e4, not allowing e5 for black. This is also good for white, but the other line was even better, and very straightforward, hence, many people believe that deep blue was cheating with a human lol. But, what do you think? Put it in the comments and let me know. Queen to d8, keeping an eye on the b6 square was much better, but black's position is horrible, there is really not much black can do to save it. Rook to a6? Question mark. Question mark. Did I say that black couldn't save this position? I underestimated how bad my uncle was. We even call him a grandmaster and he absolutely hates it. The simple queen takes b6 and rook takes b6 would be more than enough to win this game. Even though it's even material, all black can do is move his pieces randomly and wait for white to invade his position. However, after the obnoxious rook to a6, Gary Kasparov, resigned, and resigning was a terrible blunder. Never resign. The very obvious saving line was, queen to e3, only move, queen takes d6, rook to e8, only move, queen to d7 check, rook to e7, only move, queen to c6, queen takes c4, only move, d6, queen to d3 check, king to g1, 
rook to e8, rook to a1, h5, queen takes b5, rook to d8, queen to b7, check, king to g8, queen to e7, queen takes d6, queen takes d6, and after rook takes d6, black can hold this position. It's going to be really hard for white to promote the b-pawn without losing his king side pawns. Do you think Kasparov saw all of this, and he resigned because he was sure, Deep Blue was being assisted? I don't think so. If you enjoy this video, consider checkmating the subscribe and like button. For any suggestions, just put it in the comments and I will do it, or not. See you soon, or not.